all right now we have come to the end of our project uh, let's quickly see what are the open items and then let's let's fix that so now we're going to bring all the components together there are two things we have to do with number one on the partner card we have to highlight the selected partner so right now you know if i just take my cursor over to the partner i don't see which one you know i'm i'm, I'm looking at right and also when i click on a particular uh, particular uh, partner right i just wanted to you know uh, highlight uh, the partner so that the user will know the highlighted partner and also the user can see all the other details about the selected partner so that is one open item number two is uh, the same partner card right as to has to share the selected partner account id if i say if i select microsoft then it has to share the selected partner account id to the partner detail and the sales team reviews components so that this will bring data from the database relevant to microsoft and this will bring the reviews from the database relevant to the microsoft so these are the two things that we are going to focus on to complete the project let's first talk about how to highlight this uh, selected partner account so basically it involves a couple of steps so the first thing is I'll go to the partner card and right now in the HTML there is a div and then uh, we have placeholder for showing the uh, image name of the customer name of the partner POC and the type right so let's make this clickable clickable and then uh, let's also you know uh, apply right styles so that it just highlights the selected partner so the first thing is in the HTML, let's try to wrap this. Let's try to wrap this inside another div. Perfect. And uh, on click, on click of this div, I would like to call a method. So let's say the name of the method is uh, handler partner handle selected partner so this is my so this is my uh, javascript method that i would like to make a call to so back here let's go back and then let's quickly put this one so this is an event isn't it so let's keep this as is let us go back to the html and uh, back in this HTML, let's try to move the entire code here. Okay. And the other one is so this is the div that is acting as a placeholder to hold the entire card uh, elements, right? So let me dynamically set class to the div. So we'll have a class. And then uh, let's dynamically set the value. It's okay. And uh, on the yeah, on the JavaScript, on the JavaScript end. So let's say we have a we have a, a card style property. And uh, let's say a partner selected style or we can just say partner card style so either way it just works so this is the name of the property that i would like to you know uh, give to hold the style for me and um, yeah for now let's leave this empty and what we can do is uh, We'll also quickly look at the CSS if you have any CSS styles available to it. Yes, we do have something called tile and we do have something called selected. All right, uh, so we're going to use this one. So this will create you know, a background and also this will give a background, you know, uh, a border so that uh, when you when you select a particular partner account, uh, we can put a border around it. So this will look something like this. I go back right here this is how it will look like so for the selected partner i want to apply the right css which is this one the selected one so that it just shows a border so user can also see that this is the one you know the partner card and the part the selected partner on the screen so let's further build our code so my css is available let's go to the html 
and let's handle this or uh, let's before we go there let's first copy the style and then put it right here that's it so we are just dynamically setting the class with the div right so let's handle this one so on click of this event the first thing is we wanted to um, wanted to get the selected partner account ID so I'll use a constant and then I'll keep this partner account ID stored so this will be easily accessed from the partner account public property dot id so basically we are just um, access storing uh, partner account id in a local variable so that's what we are doing so once that is done what i would like to do is uh, to highlight the selected property or selected rather partner card expose a expose an event expose an event and send selected partner count ID to the parent component so which is fairly simple so constant parent or partner account select i'll just give a name to this variable i'll create a new custom event new custom event and uh, let's give a name to our event let's say partner select and uh, let us also pass parameters so which is fairly simple we'll use detail property and then we can just send the partner account id which we just stored in a local variable right so we can just use this dispatch event this dot dispatch event and cascade this event so on click this is the first thing that we wanted to do we are gonna you know we are going to um, tell the parent uh, parent component hey this is the partner account this is the this is the id of the partner account that has been selected so now let's see what happens so back to the parent component which is uh, the partner search result the html and we'll also write javascript yeah so the partner search result html so let's access this event which is fairly simple right here on this so on partner select when this event is received i would like to make a call to another method in the javascript all right so this is my partner search to set js so let's have uh, a method let's create a method let's name the method let's say partner or i'll just say selected partner handler I'll give a name to this function and let's copy this one let's put it right here so that's it and uh, let's go and then write a bit a bit of code inside the selected partner handler of course this is an event so we'll just uh, use our event and uh, let's access the data that has been sent by the child component right which is the selected partner account id so let's have this stored in a constant let's say it's partner id equal to event dot detail that's it so i'm going to have another uh, property right here to store this value so let me have uh, a property property to hold selected partner account ID received from child component which is our partner card so let's have a property so let's say um, selected partner account partner card account ID so 
let's copy this let's simply assign this value so as soon as this is assigned this value is assigned let's send this back to the child component so that the child component compare you know the one that has been broadcasted and the one that has been received you know if both are matching then we can just ensure that you know that's the particular card which we wanted to highlight so that's the logic that we are going to follow so so now i want to send this back to the child component which is fairly simple so we're going to use a public property yeah this is sending you know data from a parent to a child right so let's create a public property back in the child component all right i'm in the partner card so let me create a public property so let's create a public property at the rate api so let's name it as uh, partner account id or uh, selected partner account selected id let's name it actually part let's uh, say selected partner account id so this is the this is the name of the property so let's try to use this back in our code so as i said the one that has been broadcasted and the one that has been received if both are matching then we just wanted to ensure uh, uh, you know ensure that particular card is highlighted right uh, so let's do that so where is our uh, partner card html this is the one right so partner card style so this is my partner card style let's create let's give a value to this partner card style yeah so this is a property partner card style so let's do this in structures this let's go back here and this is a property for me and uh, this one will first check if this dot partner account dot id so which is the selector which is you know which is the current uh, partner account card that the user has clicked if this is equal to equal to this dot partner selected partner account we start uh, this one selected partner account id the one that will be received from the parent if both are same yeah, if both are same then return tile selected so if you just could recollect you know we do have a class called tile we do have a class called selected right we are simply just you know adding it okay if this is not the case then return just the tile that's it we are done so this way we managed to we managed to you know set this tile dynamically so this is cool so the last piece in this puzzle is let us go to the partner search result and let's access this one selected partner account right so let's access this so let's follow the kebab case naming convention and also we'll ensure that this is receiving data let's see partner search results so this is yeah that's it okay so pretty cool i know there are two steps involved here yeah so because we are using uh, you know we are just going to dynamically set the style for a child component based on the action performed by the style component that is the reason we need to do it in two steps so being a child component it is going to say that to the, it is going to say that hey this is the this is the 
card or this is the, uh, the unique ID of uh, the partner that has been selected. Yeah, it goes to the parent and then the parent will in turn send the data back to the child and then the child will compare. Okay, if there is a match, then it assumes that that's the particular card that has been selected by the user. It just highlights the highlights the class highlights the card by using a CSS class. Otherwise, it will simply you know leave the class as as a it will leave the class as not selected. Okay, so that's it. So we'll just see how this works. Let's first uh, build both the components. Let's say partner search result and partner card, isn't it? So right click deploy. So let's wait for the deployment to complete. Perfect. Now the deployment has just been completed. Let's go back to the code. Let's refresh. Let's ensure it is um, the cache is clear to be on the safer side. And now you can just see this, right? When I click on this, yeah, this is what is happening. So now this is cool. The, part, the, the, the first open item has just been closed, which is highlighting the card that is, that is, you know, clicked by the user. So we just got this one done. So the next thing we are going to focus on is uh, this one. How does this partner card can send information to the other two components partner details and view partner reviews components so that it will bring the data dynamically from the database so that's the next thing that we are going to focus on